In this video, we're going to talk about converting the form of an exponential from the form ae to the kx to ab to the x, and talk about the different information it gives us. So first off, in this form we have an initial value of 50, and what we could think of as a continuous rate of 20%. So, that's the information that we get from this form. Now right off the bat, the initial value is the same in either form, so A is 50 for either of them. Now the next important thing is to get the base. The base is whatever's being raised to the variable. So over here it's B, here it's not just E, it's actually E to the point 2. So B equals E to the point 2. So we'll use our calculator now to help us convert. And what we're going to do is we're going to do E to the point 2. And we get that B is approximately 1.2214. Okay? So now we can write our function in the other form. F of x equals 50 times 1.2214 to the x. Now then again the initial is the same so 50 whatever our units are. What's different is we get a little bit different information about our rate. We get, This is a continuously compounded rate if we think of bank accounts versus this would be an annual rate if x was in years um, and it would be an annual rate of 22.14 percent. So that's the different information we get from the two models. Notice they're both increasing because this has a base larger than one and this one had a rate larger than zero or positive rate. And they're really close together. This is 20 percent, this is 22.14 percent, but because this is being compounded continuously its annual rate is just slightly higher.